Hey and welcome back. So, another episode. You can see different things. I've moved. I've briefly moved. Um, this is one of my flatmates rooms. I moved here. It sounds maybe a bit different because it's a lot bigger room. I've got, I've got room to spin. Anyway, Siri's uh, horrendously annoying. I said its name and it didn't activate. Didn't say its name and it did activate. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, I've got room to spin, which is great. So now that I'm here, I moved for another video basically. Didn't like it. Nah, here's a quick clip of me moving. So yeah, anyway, I moved across, like literally across rooms. I don't think he watches these videos. If he does, hi, I'm in your room. If he doesn't, I'm still here either way. I'll move out when he comes back. I just wanted the space. I was going stir crazy 10 weeks in that room. So we're here now. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna do a setup sort of tour review thing. Just show you what I've got going on and I'll show you inside of my computer and the specs that I've got for it. So what we'll do is we'll cut and I'll either, I'll either voice over it or I'll be in the top corner and the main screen will be looking at my setup, looking in my PC. Okay, so let's cut to that now. So I thought I'd go with the voiceover. So what you can see here is the desk I'm using currently and I have the Ender 3 Pro in the corner there uh, for the printing that I'm doing. I've then got the video that I'm editing now. You're seeing it as I do it. Uh, I've got a Blue Yeti um, very good mic for podcasting and I've got it just on a separate stand with a pair of AKG headphones. Uh, I've got my massive computer case here which is a Cooler Master Cosmos 2. It is literally a like XL computer case I believe. It's huge, very dusty right now but we'll see the inside. Let's cut to that now shall we? So I decided to do a voiceover instead for this. It seemed a bit more fun. Uh, it's proving to be a lot more challenging. So this is my Cooler Master Cosmos 2 case, which is a, I believe, ATX XL case, which means it can hit, fit a very large motherboard in it. Um, as you can see, it's a very big case, but I love it and I've had it for years. So we'll start looking at my hard drive bays. So initially I've got five bays here and then underneath this fan, set up I have another six bays yeah so there are the six bays and they're cooled by those two fans those hard drive fans there I've got a four terabyte hard drive in there and that's the main hard drive I use for like bulk storage I've also got two underneath this little slider here two hot swapping bays which are bays used for hard drives to be able to quickly pop in and push out hard drives. It's not a very common thing anymore, but it's still an option I have. Then we will move on to looking at my power supply, which is an SFX power supply, which was a huge mistake on my part to buy, but it works fine. It's just 600 watts um, and it does exactly what I need it to do. So I can't really complain. I'll eventually look to getting a standard sized power supply because it's a little small and looks a bit odd. Then we'll move up here and you can see my 1060 graphics card, probably one of the few things I uh, cheaped out on a little bit, and a small Wi-Fi card there. Nothing impressive about that Wi-Fi card. But then if we go over here, this is where the more impressive stuff is. I have a third generation M.2, it's one terabyte big, and I have a i9 processor, which is a 990K, I believe. I'm also using two 16 gig sticks of DDR4 RAM, giving me a total of 32 gigs of RAM in the uh, machine. I have these fans which have LEDs on them just for a bit of fun, because who doesn't love a good LED? And as you can see, I'm just gonna quickly come around here. 
and those two bays there that are wired up are the two hot swapping bays uh, that I showed you at the front of the case with another three bays for expansion like a CD player or anything. And that's pretty much the, the case summarized. I did just re-record this in fact because the initial recording um, I had done no cable management in here so I wanted to sort of re-record with cable management done. So as you can see, it's a lot cleaner. Well, you can't see it's a lot cleaner, but it was a big mess prior. Now the cables are a bit more clean and everything's in the back and it's very messy in the back. As you can see, I've got a couple things still to sort of tuck away a little more, but um, it looks a lot better than it did when I first recorded this. I'm also using a A500 Corsair cooler to cool my uh, CPU, the block there. It fills up a lot of the space, so I took it off for this video. Um, but that's what I use because the i9 actually runs very hot, so I needed quite a big thermal block to be able to solve that problem. Wow, voiceover, a lot harder to do. Um, I think personally it's because I probably ruined it a little bit by not talking when I was doing the filming. So it was a little shorter, I had to do a little fast, um, overall, it's quite difficult to show off my computer without taking it apart. I just thought I'd set a, a base level of this is my setup currently and I'll do setup tours as I continue. But for now, it's very dusty in there as you saw. Um, it's primarily built for speed of um, launching programs and launching files. So that's why the M.2's in there with like five thousand megabytes read and write speeds um, the i9's there I had a huge issue with the start because the i9's actually hotter than the initial CPU I wanted to put in it's a whole nother story though so for now uh, that's it for this video I just wanted to sort of show off what I was working with show off the computer and show off sort of the equipment that I've got currently so that you guys can be part of the journey that I take as I slowly grab more equipment and more stuff like I want to eventually get a nice soldering station set up at some point so that'll be something in the future to look for. For now though, um, if you look in the description there'll be some links towards the products that I used. Um, they'll all be affiliate links which means I get a kickback from anything that you purchase um, and I'll try and link as much as possible to like the parts that I've used. Um, and I've got some referral codes. I basically redid the whole description to make it look more professional, more better. There's referral codes in there for like Honey, which is just a, a voucher program for Chrome or any other web browser, I believe. And you can just use that. There's all sorts of things. So just have a look down there and anything you do in my description will support me, which means I can do more videos, buy more filament, print more things and whatnot. So please subscribe or uh, click a video and I'll see you guys next time.